Okay, crafty friends, this is Twyla Davis, and some of you wanted me to share how I made the cute little holders for the mini Emery boards that I got off of Amazon. Okay, now you can get these in three different sizes. So there's this little mini, there's a medium one, and then there's a bigger one. Okay, you can get these, the bigger ones, at Dollar Tree or wherever, but the other ones, you kind of have to get those online. Right now, you can't get the medium size ones except in a pack of 60, which has 20 of these, 20 of these, 20 of these, okay? You can get these, though, however, right now in a pack of 100, I think, or maybe 150 on Amazon. And I, um, I can give you the link if you'd like that, okay? So let me show you how to do this one because this is what everybody wanted to know. Um, the paper I used was the Retire DSP Flowers for Every Season. And I don't have any of that left, which is a good thing, I guess. So I'll show you how to do it with a different paper. So we're gonna use the Flowers and More, which is a host paper right now. So the good thing about these little holders is that um, six by six works great. And it's sometimes it's hard to figure out what to do with all the six by six that you have left the packs. So this small one, okay, you're going to cut it at, it is two and a half by five. Okay, so you can get two of those out of a six by six. So two and a half by five. Fold it in the middle. Bone folder works great for this too. You're going to fold, fold it toward the middle again. You don't want to go all the way to the middle though, okay? Just leave a little bit before the fold. You're going to come down on this side, fold your top corner, okay? Turn it around on this side, you're going to fold down. You almost, you can see just a little bit at the bottom. And you just wrap it around and that is it. It is so easy. Okay, stick it in here, okay? I use the Charming Cinnamons, which you can get from the big book right now. Um, 159985 is the number for that. I think it just fits perfect on here. I did use the Retired Punches, the one and an eighth little scallop and the one inch. You could use your circle dies though. Hopefully, um, stepping up, you know, we've got the online exclusives. A, a few circle punches and hopefully maybe some smaller ones will come back I don't know okay so that's the small one now let me show you the medium size one so the medium size one is a three by six okay so two of those again out of the six by six this is 12 by 12 though I've cut down okay fold in the middle fold to the middle Fold this one down. Once you do these, you can do it. You can go pretty fast. Fold this in, and you can kind of see where your line's gonna be. Some of this paper is hard to see. Okay, you're gonna have a little bit of an edge left there, and you just wrap it around like that and staple it, okay? That's your medium size one. For the medium size one, I used all three punches, okay? Uh, the one and a fourth, the scallop one, and the inch, okay? You could, like I say, you can still use your dies, okay, for those. Okay, let's do the big one. So big one, six by six. This one's done a little bit different. Or I do it a little bit different. You don't have to do it like that, but so fold it in the middle. Bring this side to the middle. Bring this one to the middle. Don't overlap. Just go to your fold a little bit back from your fold. Okay, this one folds down. This one folds here and I fold this other little corner up. Now you don't have to, I just think it finishes it off a little bit more. So 
So I do this one a little bit different too in the fact that I use a sticky strip. To hook it together and I don't staple it at the bottom I leave the bottom open because it is it it will fit in there and hold it tight I also kind of like to leave that one flap like this but you can you can tuck it in like that if you want okay just for the bigger one I like it like that you could do that for the little ones too if you wanted just depends on how you want how you want it so let me show you so so here's a finished big one I did okay and I added a little 3 8 by uh, I think it's three and a fourth by 3 8 to wrap around you could also do ribbon okay so then your medium one and it's great to do for craft fairs it's great to use up your all that paper you have left Okay, there's those. Also now, so for Easter, okay, craft fairs, you can get these really super cute little ink pens on Amazon, okay? Aren't those cute? So you make colored, you know, Easter ones and write Happy Easter. So I'm, I'm, that's what I'm in the process of doing too. I love the carrot. So cute. Okay, um, if you have any other questions, just send me a message. Thanks. Have fun crafting. Bye.